CBS 17 is your local election headquarters. More than 2 million people have already voted here in North Carolina. That includes, of course, early voting and mail ins. Turnout is running ahead of the last midterm election in 2018. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Hyland, is live in Raleigh with a closer look at who's showing up and who isn't. Michael. Yeah, well, a lot can still happen tomorrow. Election experts I talked to say they do expect overall turnout to be strong, but not record breaking. We also talked to some of the voters who are showing up about what's motivating them. Early voting got much busier the later you went. The economy, abortion, democracy, and other issues all driving different people. We wanted to make a change for the Republicans. I think I'm going to have to go to the bank and get a loan to go, go buy groceries. You know, the prices are up every week. As of Monday, the State Board of Elections says more than 2.1 million people already have cast their ballots. That's 29% of registered voters and about 100,000 more than at the same point in 2018. Chris Cooper at Western Carolina University says he does not expect this year's midterm to break the turnout record of 62% in 1990. I think we're going to be somewhere in the high 50s, healthy but not record by any stretch. Democrats account for 38% of votes so far, compared to 31% for Republicans and 30% for unaffiliated. But one thing that strikes Cooper is that the average age of voters is close to 60, compared to 56 four years ago. Young people, for whatever set of circumstances, uh, they never show up to vote in big numbers. They're showing up to vote even less than usual. He also points out there has not been a significant increase in women voting following the Supreme Court's decision on abortion. A lot of us expected that perhaps after the Dobbs decision, we'd see a wave of women showing up to vote for the first time. In terms of gender voting patterns, it looks remarkably similar to 2018. The number of people voting by mail has doubled since 2018, but there are more than 100,000 people who have requested mail-in ballots who have not returned them yet. As long as those ballots are postmarked by 5 o'clock on Election Day, they do still count as long as they make it to county election offices by next Monday. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you. Well, the State Board of Elections has some reminders for voters on Election Day. Polls will be open from 6.30 a.m. until 7.30 tomorrow night. Voters in line at 7.30 will be able to cast their ballot. Voters must go to their assigned Election Day polling place. And if you're voting by mail and have not returned your ballot, you can't return it to a polling site. You have to send it by mail or turn it in to your county Board of Elections by 5 p.m.